No, we've been over this. You're gonna go in the sitting area with daddy. Mommy's gonna get the room, okay? Go, now. Hi, welcome in. How can I help? Hi, um, I'm here to check in. Alrighty, well that's what I'm here to do. Follow me over this way. Alrighty, I just need an ID and credit card to get you checked in. Yeah, um, here you go. Hey, thank you, Miss Smith. Okay, do we have a long travel day today? Yeah, we drove all the way down here this morning, spent all day running around, and now I'm just really tired. Oh my gosh, well, I will get you checked in nice and quick, and that way you guys can get to bed, okay? All right, so we're all set. This map here shows you where your room is. It also tells you about all the hotel's offerings. Here are your keys. Did you have any other questions for me? Yeah, actually, um, I would like to talk to your supervisor. Could you get them for me? Ooh, that can't be good. Yes, of course. Give me this one moment. Hi, ma'am. Thank you so much for waiting. Um, here is my supervisor. Hi, look. I'm exhausted and there's nothing I want more right now than to crawl into bed and get some sleep, but I had to stop and tell you that this employee right here is amazing. She's so sweet, so positive, and I just appreciate that so much. And I wanna let you know so that you know that you got you gotta keep this one around, okay? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. You have a good night. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, ma'am, so I have you all checked in. I've written your room number on this map, and this building right here is where we're currently standing, and then this building over here is going to be where your room is, okay? Oh my God, but that building is so far away. How, how long of a walk is that from here? From here, it's probably gonna take about five minutes. <laughs> so you're telling me that every single time I want to come back and forth from my room to this lobby, it's going to take me five minutes of walking out in this heat? This is one of the largest resorts in the area, so there, there is going to be a lot of walking, but around your building there are restaurants, pools. Absolutely not. I see a building on either side of this lobby. Put me in one of those. I can call to the back and see if we have any availability in those buildings, but they are going to be at the premium rate and you've booked the standard rate, so there is going to be a price difference. You want to charge me extra just because I want a building closer to the lobby? Well, not only are those rooms closer to the lobby in higher demand, but those ones specifically are going to be in our suite style and you have booked our standard style. You know, it feels like I'm being punished for trying to book a cheaper rate. Ma'am, you're not being punished. This is simply how our resort was designed. Well, whoever designed this resort clearly didn't know what they were doing. Hmm, I could say the same for the one who booked here. All right, ma'am, so we have you almost fully checked in. I just need a credit card to put on file for the hold for incidentals, room, and tax. Yeah, sure, here you go. Thank you. Um, ma'am, are you aware that you gave me a debit card? Do you happen to have a credit card? Why can't you use my debit card? I can use a debit card technically, I just prefer credit cards because the money that we're holding on your debit card is your actual cash. Just go ahead and use it. Are you certain? Because we are holding for room tax incidentals nightly and it's a pretty large sum and I don't want you to not be able to access that money throughout the entirety of your stay with us and if you decide to change your card then it'll take the bank a while to... Are you trying to imply that I'm poor or something? Like just use the card. Okay, well... You're all set. The hold has been put on your debit card. Thank you. This lady's acting like I have no money. I'll just get you the keys to your room then. You guys need to take your hold off my card right now. I can't purchase the tickets I need to get because of your guys' stupid hold on my money. And what seems to be the issue? I don't have enough limit on my credit card to get the tickets. I had the cash, but you guys have taken so much of it that I can't get the tickets now. Ma'am, I informed you upon check-in that we would be holding a sizable amount on your debit card and you said it was fine. Change out the cards right now. Just put the money back on this one and then put the hold on this one, okay? Like here, just have this credit card. Put it on that one. Ma'am, I'm afraid that even if I switch out the debit card for your credit card now, you're not gonna get the funds back right away. So even though I'm giving you guys an entirely new card, you're refusing to put the money back on this one? I can release the funds to you pretty much immediately by replacing the card, but then the bank is going to have to process that change as well, and that can take several days. Why would, wh how does that work? I'm afraid that these systems are not automatic. Once we release the funds, then the bank has to take their own time to process that they've been released. That's why I tried to get a credit card upon check-in. No, I refuse to let you guys steal my money like this. Get me your manager. Right away. 
Hello ma'am, I'm the front desk manager. My agent has told me about the situation going on with your debit card. Hi, you better be coming back here to tell me that my money is gonna be back on this card any second now because I'm looking at my bank statement and you guys are still holding my cash even though I've given you a credit card. I've spoken to my accounting team and they have assured me that the funds have been fully released from our end. Oh, good, so how long until I can see that the money's been put back on my card? Do apologize, but I cannot give you a time estimate because it is up to your bank now. What do you mean it's up to my bank? I really am very sorry, but once we release the hold, it is out of our hands and it is up to your bank to reflect that change. Now, I do recommend giving them a call and seeing if they can speed up that process for you. You, no, no, no. You're gonna call the bank and you're gonna let them know that you messed up by putting this hold on my card and that they need to put it back on right now. I, I would if I could, ma'am, but unfortunately, due to privacy laws and regulation put forth by the hotel and by your bank, I cannot talk to your bank on your behalf about your funds. <laughs> Can you do anything? Truly, I am sorry, but I have done all that I can do. So now I have to sit on hold with my bank for three hours because of a mistake that you guys made? Ma'am, if you had used the credit card as advised in the first place, this situation would have been avoided. I'm gonna be calling corporate about this and I'm gonna be writing you a horrible review. Okay, have fun screaming into the void. Go for the general manager. Hey, it's Sales. Um, just wanna let you know, I just got off the phone with a lady who was insisting that she speak with the general manager of the hotel. Oh, lovely, my favorite. Yeah, I tried to figure out what she wanted, but she refused to speak with me and was just demanding your personal cell phone number, which obviously I did not give her. So instead I just got her number and I told her that you contact her, okay? Yeah, I definitely did not need her blowing up my phone, so thank you. Um, yeah, please forward me her contact information. I'm setting it over now. All right, you should have gotten it. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, sounds like I'll need it. <sighs> hey boss, I have a quick, qu uh, what's going on? Why do you look so stressed? Yeah, hey Jess, um, I just got a call from sales. Apparently some lady is demanding to speak with me so I get to call her and see what she's mad about now. Uh, well, whatever she's mad about wasn't me, okay? <laughs> Noted, Jess. Uh, go back to the desk and I'll come find you whenever I'm done with this, okay? Will do. Good luck. All right. Oh, let's do this. Hi, this is the general manager. I'm returning your call. Oh, hi. Thank you so much for calling me back because it is really urgent. Um, I need a room at your hotel for tomorrow night. I'm sorry. Is booking a room the only reason you want a general manager to personally give you a call? Yeah, well, my friend's 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 friend is friends with a general manager of a hotel and they got them a discounted rate because they were buddies, so I was hoping you could give me a discounted rate. Ma'am, I don't know you. Well, we may not be best friends right now, but if you get me a discount at your hotel, then I can be your best. I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. Hi, yeah, what suites do you have available this weekend? Well, I do apologize, but unfortunately we don't have any availability. But I need a room here this weekend. We are completely sold out. You're telling me you don't have any rooms at all? Correct, we're sold out. Why? Uh, because people are traveling for summer? Well, yeah, I get that, but I don't understand how you're fully booked when I need a room in a couple of days. Well, we do encourage people to book as far in advance as they possibly can. We are extremely busy during the summertime. And in fact, some of our guests that are staying with us right now booked as far back as January. Well, I didn't plan to travel. This is a last minute trip. I'm sorry, but there's nothing that we can do. We are sold out and I highly doubt we're going to have any cancellations. <sighs> bye bye. What's that saying again? Lack of preparation on your part does not constitute an emergency on mine. Okay, we're finally here. Um, Grandma, it looks like the bathroom's over there, so go ahead and use it while I get us all checked in, okay? All right, hon, I'll let you take care of it. All right, so we have you all set and registered. Oh, last question before I forget. Are you traveling with any pets? No, mm, no pets. Okay, well, I have your keys right here and the room number is written inside the envelope. Thank you. Grandma, I got our room. Let's go get our stuff. Hey, sweetie, we'd like to purchase these from your shop and um, I didn't see any detergent. Do you have detergent for sale? Oh, actually, our detergent is free and I have some right here. There you go. 
Oh, perfect, sweetheart. Thank you. And um, do you think that all five of the dog pee pads will fit in the washer at once? Huh? Yeah, the dogs have already peed up all our pee pads, so I'm, I'm trying to get it done quick before there's an accident. Oh, I wasn't aware that you had dogs in the room. But yes, you're... Oh, stop. You're a pet-friendly hotel, right? Yes, we are a pet-friendly hotel, but um, were you and your granddaughter aware that we charge a pet cleaning fee? Well, honey, I thought you said that pets stay here for free. <laughs> Look, baby, you could just charge a card on file, okay? I most certainly will, ma'am. Grandma, you just cost me extra money. I'm gonna need you to speak up. I can't hear you. Why are you whispering? 